Hi, I'm Officer Peter Dirks with the Coppell Police Department, and we're geared up for National Night Out 2017. In Coppell, Texas, we have over 70 block parties registered, and we had a high chance of rain, but it's held off, and we have great weather. So we're going to go out, visit with the citizens, eat some great food, and have some great fellowship. We'll see you out there. Therefore, I, Karen Hunt, Mayor of the City of Coppell, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, October 3rd, 2017, as National Night Out in the City of Coppell, Dallas County Council. Council Member Hinojosa Flores. Thank you. So I got really excited there, right? Um, I love National Night Out and really looking forward to it next week. And with that, I would ask that we consider approval of a proclamation naming Tuesday, October 3rd, 2017 as National Night Out and requesting City Council support and endorsement of National Night Out festivities, authorizing the mayor to sign. Second by Council Member Franklin. All in favor? Long Hina Jose Flores, Roden Franklin Hill. None opposed, motion carries. Welcome to National Night Out. 2017. At 7 o'clock this morning, there was 70% chance of rain right now. As of now, I think we're at 15%, and it's probably going to unload right towards the end that we're finishing. Even We are out here tonight for National Night Out and this is one of my favorite nights. We get to go from party to party and visit and say hello, introduce ourselves and then also see people that we haven't seen since last year. It is a great time for neighbors to meet neighbors, some for the first time and some once a year and some they get to see each other every day but it, this is a great celebration of the whole city and we really enjoy it. <laughs> National Night Out is an incredible event for the city of Coppell. Every year it gets better. Every year it gets larger. We have a diverse community. They all come out to get to know. You see, you think sometimes they know each other, but they don't. They don't know people across the street, and this is what brings it out. It gives us an opportunity to integrate with them, to mingle with them, answer questions with them. A lot of them are just coming up to us these days and just saying thank you. And it just kind of puts us on a different level where it's not stressful, we're, we're we're breaking bread together and just enjoying the evening, giving out the kids all kinds of goodies, and, and that's what tonight is all about. National It's a small town. It does have a big town feel sometimes, but I think it's a great way to get neighbors together and build community. The reason why we throw the block party is to keep our neighbors engaged in the neighborhood, to keep everybody together, to make sure we're all having fun. Uh, and uh, share some eats too. So we got Anemias to cater, 
and a bounce house and Kona ice truck for shaved ice and Hapel is a community that cares about everybody. So, I mean, we really feel like it's a family here. We moved here 17 years ago, and um, we fell in love with it, and it feels like a real family. We all are offering a great opportunity here for everybody to, to get out and, and, and socialize with each other and meet you all and, and the firefighters. So mostly it brings the community together, we get to know who is living where, who are your neighbors, make face-to-face -face contact and we get to know and we know that, you know, and also the, the public service reaches us and see, you know, you get to see the public service, how it operates. We provided a barbecue from AJ's on Main, um, set the food up, get the ice for the drinks, organize uh, what do we need to buy for the event, make sure we have enough for everybody that comes. We have about 150 people that come to each event, um, sometimes 200 if the weather's nice. And today we lucked out because the rain subsided and I think we're going to make it a great event. It's great to be part of this community, to have this, uh, this much crowd here and uh, I'm also happy to be and part of to be here. It's a safe and secure place. We all love to be in Coppell and there's a value comes with that. The neighborhood safety is number one. Most of the people that I talk to are not short on opinions and I think that's great. We need that feedback for governance purposes and when we get that feedback from neighborhoods, whether it's about the streets or about security or about the schools or anything else, we share that information at the city council level with each other and with the city manager. So it is helpful to us in terms of being an effective uh, governance group. It really is. It's been very rewarding in that our community has stepped up each and every year. Uh, I've lived in this neighborhood for 17 years, so and it's sometimes hard to get to know your neighbors. So getting involved on the social committee was a great way to meet some of my neighbors and bring people out. I wanted to be part of uh, you know the community and do something for the community, just as uh, you know start contributing to the community. I've been kind of uh, laid back for a while, so I thought this may be a good way to start. You know. National Night is awesome because everybody in the neighborhood gets to come together and meet new people. I'm having so much fun at National Night Out because it's a chance for all the families in the neighborhood to get together and just to have fun. Well, we did it last year and it was super fun and I love for the kids to get to see the Coppell Police Department and get familiar with the police department and, and be comfortable contacting them. One thing that my neighbors and I like to discuss is um, getting together, getting to know new people and welcoming them for sure. And we're also compiling a new directory because it's been several years and we want to be able to email or text somebody if their dog is out or if something suspicious is going on just to let everybody know what's going on in the neighborhood. We have to be part of the system. You know, we have to meet with our local police officer administrators to understand you know what is good for the community and how we can help each other that is very important thing we really like Coppell because uh, because it was really small and it felt like a you know small village or small town and uh, we like the trees and how it's like cozy around here day in and out these are the people that we're facing getting in and out of the car walking all those things it's the neighbors, not, not our friends that live far away. It's only our neighbors. That's very, very important that we do this. Because the, with what's going on around in America, I think we should know each other very well, and that will help us to be safe in this environment. For us, you know, we have new neighbors that we get to reconnect with uh, or connect with for the first time and, and see some folks that we haven't seen in a, in, a, in a year or two. It's nice, you know, it's about comfort. And I, and I get a, good, a really good feeling between, and, and I know handling the growth is a big challenge. So I, I'd say that the police department just makes us feel comfortable. Well, we're wrapping up another year. National Line Out 2017. The rain's held off for us tonight. It's just starting to lightning, so people are going inside. We had some awesome parties. We got bounce houses. We had food trucks. We got photo booths. We have bands. We got tons of kids out, so we had a great time promoting crime prevention and getting the community together. So until next time, be safe.